So I kind of wanted to do a quick video. I got a, uh, a question on Instagram uh, from Billy on how to use the live well system in the tracker boats. I understand he has a 2015, mine's a 2013, but I think the systems are kind of similar or they're exactly the same. So I'm just gonna show you real quick how to use these systems, kind of some strategies for using the systems. And um, yeah, so let's get started. This is the control panel on my 2013 uh, tracker pro pro guide v16 tiller um, my master power switch my lights my recirc pump my aerator pump my bilge and my horn that first off first things first in order to get these systems to work i have to flip on my master power switch um, if i want to fill my bait well i uh, can either flip it to auto or to manual it's kind of up to you um, and this is the recirc pump, and I'll show you kind of how that works later, but it's just one switch. It turns on, uh, depending on which way the valve is, it'll either pump water in or it'll recirculate the water you already have in the boat. Okay, this is the internal. Uh, this is inside the live well. Um, <clears throat> so what you see here is you have two parts. You have your aerator, which is pumping water from outside of the boat in. Uh, if you take a look closer, there's actually, it's, it's threaded, this thing moves in and out. Uh, there's a hole in the bottom. If you have this all the way in, you will not get water coming out of this, so that's kind of important. Uh, this is your recirc pump or your pump out. Um, in the out position, it will take water from inside your bait well and kick it out of the boat. Um, good for getting water out of the boat when you're, um, you know, you're at the ramp getting ready to pull the boat off. Or if you want to replace the water in your live well, um, kind of on the fly, you can pump a, a good majority of your water out while putting water back in with your aerator. This is a perfectly good. Uh, this is a perfectly good alternative to running your aerator all the time. It does aerate the water, so if you push it in the in position, it'll suck water in here, and it'll kick water back out there. Now the plug that I have in this boat is this plug right here. Um, this is the plug that came with it. There was another plug with kind of like a ring in it. It's a lot smaller. It's for the rear bait well, which actually kind of uses a cooler. Um, <clears throat> this is the bait tank. Just so you know, you can pull this out, put bait in it. Uh, it there's kind of two tiers here. There's a graded tier um, kind of uh, a couple inches up from the bottom. You need to get your water at least up to there in order to start filling this. Um, if you have bait in there. So your bait's going to die if you don't get it up to there. If you don't have the right size plug, go ahead and make a trip to your tracker dealer and let them know you didn't get the right size plug with your boat. Thanks guys for watching my video. Uh, you can check out some of my other videos. You can check out my Instagram, Lee Belt Guide Service. Uh, go ahead and like that. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be putting up kind of some more educational videos. Um, if you got any questions, definitely post them up below. And, uh, Tight lines.